I absolutely love frogs. Look at Chunky Monkey here. This is actually a female African bullfrog. And I tell you what, that is one cool little animal. And of course, we have a lot of frogs and toads here. This is actually Al, the Surinam marine toad or cane toad. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it's literally as big as my head. Absolutely love amphibians. And you can never have too many frogs. Look at this. This is actually the notorious FORG, which is an apricot Argentine horn frog. Absolutely cute. I mean, that's the thing that's amazing about frogs is each one is so different. They require different care. They look different. They're, they're amazing. And by the way, because I need more frogs, I'm about to unbox a bunch of new frogs. That is right. So let's go ahead and roll that unbox reel. And that's right. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this. I'm always excited when I get new animals. You know that. It's so amazing to have the Reptarium for that specific reason because we can get all kinds of cool new stuff that people will love and I know I love it too. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on. By the way, these are actually from a friend of mine that picked these up from a friend that was his that breeds these animals. And my buddy's name is Matt Veronic and he sent me these obviously. He also does some photography. It says one of the, these days you'll have one of these. Komodo dragon, got obviously a little alligator snapping turtle, a monitor here, got a beautiful viper, got some poison dart frogs. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but that's pretty cool. It's very colorful, whatever it is. So thank you, Matt, for sending me photography because I can uh, frame those and hang them on the walls. Let's get to unboxing these little critters here. Let's see what we have. And oh, doggy, these things are beautiful. Oh my God, they're so big too. I didn't know they were gonna be so big. So of course, these are some beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, I mean, they are such crazy looking animals. These, of course, are Vietnamese mossy frogs. That's right. These guys obviously come from Vietnam. They can also come from areas of China. They're very threatened right now because of deforestation, not to mention chytrid virus, which is something that's really terrible. Basically, amphibians are a barometer to the things of the climate, right? So when things are going bad, whoop, it just peed on me. It was projectile pee. What are you doing? Whoa, cheese your beach. I like this frog already. This thing is, whoa. Woo -hoo -hoo. I tell you what, this is a feisty little one. And it's all over the place. And just look at the camouflage of these. Again, these guys are gonna come from like, you know, forest areas where there's a lot of heavily mossy things. And I'm telling you what, this thing under moss, you would definitely not see it. Woo! And I tell you, that is absolutely good. I'm gonna put this little monkey away and show you another one that we I got. And this one is actually even a little bit larger. Now, females can get up to like three, three and a half inches. Males typically stay about two, two and a half inches. So it's just incredible. I mean, if you could see the eyes even on these guys are like really heavily camouflaged. I mean, these are legitimately animals that are unbelievably camouflaged in the wild. If you were walking around a forest, there is no way you would see that. And that's their defense mechanism is now to kind of curl up really tight so they look like a ball of moss. What cool animals. I am so excited to have these. Now, woo! There it went, goodbye. <laughs> I tell you, these things are absolutely incredible. So uh, let's go ahead and get these things set up. And of course, this is gonna be our mossy frog display here. Really cool, you know, running water is really good for them because they do love to be in the water, they love to be in the streams. And then they can hide all up in here and look all mossy, you know, they have all kinds of terracing. We actually have six mossy frogs to release, so this is gonna be absolutely amazing. I love releasing these guys. And again, you know, I'm sure this is like a really nice naturalistic environment for them, which they may not be used to, which is gonna be pretty cool. Just, just whoa! So here we go, little buddy and you'll see how they'll just kind of disappear in there. And I, I tell you, it's gonna be quite the guessing game to have someone try to find all six of these guys. It's gonna be almost impossible. And these are so gorgeous. It's so weird how they always, whoa, look at that. They are little hoppy monkeys too. They are so absolutely adorable. So we're just gonna keep on releasing them. This one's nice and bright. Come on, buddy, go ahead. You can see as they get in here, they just kind of disappear right into the backdrop. I mean, I'm sure most people are gonna look at this and go, well, what's in here? There's nothing in here. So we're gonna probably have to put a sign or something that says like six mossy frogs. Can you find all six of them? This little guy right up here, let him jump out. Whoop, <laughs> little monkey. This one's one of the biggest ones right here, which again, probably is a good chance it's a female because the females get much larger than the males. Unbelievably beautiful. Here you go, bud. All the way up here, there you go. 
I tell you what, this is amazing. Again, we needed some amphibians to add. You know, we already have a bunch. We definitely need more. And when we do the 3.0 expansion, definitely going to add even more amphibians. There's no doubt about it. But wow, these things are cool. So that's all six of them there. Wow, that's incredible. You guys didn't think I just got mossy frogs, did you? The fact is, we have another unboxing we're going to do later on. But for first, we have to set up the enclosure for them. So let's go get Jessica. We're getting a new animal today. So we're going to redo this cage. I, I like the way it's set up, but like... <laughs> <laughs> I've got to trim a lot of this down here, clean out the water and everything, and give it a good revamp. So, uh, here we go. Job. You are. I wish that I had your. You said shut up. I wish that I had your cage building skills, honestly. Oh, yeah. Got it on film. Yeah. yeah. And again, more frogs to unbox. Roll that unboxing rail. Like I always mentioned, the only thing that's better than unboxing frogs is to unbox more frogs. And I'm pretty excited about this. Of course, the first ones. Now we've worked with mossy frogs before, but I've never worked with these ones. And oh my gosh, these things are so cool. Wow. Oh my god, you guys are gonna love these things. These things are dope as could be. Take a look at these little monkeys right here. These are actually Amazonian milk frogs, and they are unbelievable. They're a pretty large species of tree frog. They can get up to four inches, typically between two and a half and four inches, but just look at the color. And again, they're Amazonian, so these guys come from South America. Obviously, the thing with these guys, they get pretty big, so you don't wanna put too many in a space. You want them to have lots of room, and just like the mossy, frogs these guys are insectivores they're gonna eat pretty much any kind of bug and stuff like that and I've always loved the milk frogs I mean they are absolutely ridiculous just the contrast and the color and we've got a bunch of these look at these guys right here I'm gonna go ahead and show you another one and you can see kind of the difference of the contrast just a little bit here but it's almost like they're painted I mean look at those cute faces oh and look at this wow this is really interesting this one has jet black eyes, and this one has gold eyes with a black pupil. I don't even know why that is that way, but that is absolutely incredible. Again, I am no amphibian expert. All I know is that they're absolutely gorgeous and beautiful, and I cannot wait to see these guys get into that enclosure because, oh my God, it's cool. Again, we have a handful of frogs here already, and they're always super popular when people come. So to add a couple more species, it's gonna be pretty darn cool. Wow, Amazonian milk frog. How incredible is that? Wow! And again, we ended up getting two pair of these guys and we ended up six of the mossy frogs. So, wow, I tell you, what an absolutely amazing day. It's been 70 or 75 degrees here in Michigan. Today we got snow. They said it'd be nice to live in Michigan. And again, Jessica did an amazing job. I mean, look at how incredible that enclosure is. And these frogs are gonna look so cool in here. What a great addition to the reptarium. Okay, so we just gotta learn how to open the tubs. That's the hard part. Literally, it doesn't open. I figured it out. Okay. All right, let's see. Whoa, 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 come on, monkey. Here we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks incredible. I mean that, oh my God, my heart is just on fire right now. I love seeing this type of thing. And that's what's so cool, right? It's just getting new animals, knowing that they're gonna do so well, having an environment that's gonna be great for them, and then knowing all the people that are gonna come into the Reptarium and be absolutely blown away by them. You know, the truth is is that, you know, obviously we're the Reptarium, right? And these are definitely a, uh, a amphibian. But the truth is is that it's kind of all in the same family, right? And so many people love frogs and toads and the other things, like I said, we've talked about adding some more amphibians, maybe like some axolotls and stuff like that, but look at how freaking cool that is. Are you kidding me? I mean, look at that. That is amazing, man. Oh my gosh. So there it is, uh, you know, amphibian unboxing day here at the Reptarium. All right, so I've got something from the PO box. It's in a giant box and literally, 
I don't know if I should. Do you think it's empty? It, it seriously feels empty. How funny Someone would that be? A box with nothing in it. No, there's something in it, but I just don't think it weighs very much. So I think it's going to be a really cool stuffed animal sloth. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh my gosh! Oh, I got them! Oh, yeah. oh, it's a huge one too! Oh my, oh my gosh! That is the best! <laughs> Give it a kiss. That's great. That's great. That's great. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna call it Homer. <laughs> <laughs> From David, Keith, and Kenny. Oh my gosh! I was walking and through our this, friend Lena. I was walking through the store the other day. Came across this lot. After looking at it, I was like, "Hey, it looks like Drogo. You know who would love this, Brian?" So he picked it up and sent us. Thank you guys so much. This is the best sloth ever. I'm gonna have this on our bed. Mm, look at it's really loving true. me. Really oh my true. god. Thank you guys. That's awesome. <laughs> it's the rare amphibian vlog There's no doubt about that a lot of amphibians today, but hey, I absolutely love them I used to spend my summers looking for snakes and frogs and toads So uh, I've always loved the things and these white street frogs are super cool. Look at that little cute face right there They're amazing. So I'm so happy now that we have some mossies back on display and now we have the milk frogs How incredible is that if you guys enjoyed this video right over here on this side You can actually see a playlist of a bunch of unboxing of all kinds of stuff on this this side over here can you hit that subscription button turn those post notifications on have a wonderful day remember be kind to somebody and i promise i'll see you tomorrow